Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and this video, my gift to you, is about transmuting anger. Right? Is anger your foe or is it your liberator? You know, villain or liberator? Well, first I will talk um, many concepts surrounding anger uh, which will be followed uh, by a guided meditation. And to the new and old viewers, uh, my videos are designed as a loose system of self-empowerment, you know, liberation and finally ascension. So if you respond well to this guided meditation and it affects you strongly, chances are that you will get good results with my other guided meditations too. So try the others uh, too, you know, to get out of this web of the matrix. And of course, if you respond well to these shotguns meditation, a private session will knock your socks off. Uh, but enough now of this shameless self-promotion. Uh, what is the mechanism of anger? You know, so, and of course there are different perspectives. So from the perspective of survival of the fittest, anger seems to be the emotion that is designed to overcome obstacles fast, you know, by giving you a huge amount of energy, you know, for an emotional or physical confrontation. And of course, an outburst of anger, you know, also drains your energy. You know. uh, so, um, you know, uh, there could be a situation that was festering for a long time, like a thorn in your side, and then suddenly, you know, you go radical, you know. For the 10,000th time, you know, I told you not to stick my calm into the butter, and <clears throat> right, there we go. Or it's more like a fight or flight situation, you know, where once you got hit in the nose, you know, you let your heart out. So that is outside turned aggression, you know. Uh, but anger can also be directed at yourself, where you could kick yourself <laughs> for having done this or that. And of course, uh, self loathing, self sabotage, and guilt are all the retarded relatives of self directed anger and are all very destructive, just like love is healing, you know, on the other side of this duality. So, uh, on one side you have anger and hate, you know, and on the other side you have love and everything else kind of moves around uh, the spectrum, you know, this is part of the duality. All right. Uh, we are, you know, this is at least a three-dimensional uh, concept, you know, three-dimensional means, you know, this world of duality. So, yeah, I still remember that Tibetan Lama lecturing me like 40 years ago. That was his first, that was the first lecture I ever heard of a Tibetan Lama. You know, uh, there he taught that with anger, you're not only poisoning your body chemically, as well as emotionally, but also it puts you on the fast track of causing huge damage in a really short time, you know, like yelling at your boss <laughs> or loved ones or even worse, you know, using a fist, hammer or gun to express yourself. A moment of rage, you know, can lead to broken relationships, bones, murder, lifelong imprisonment, guilt, karma and vengeful ghosts that can follow you through the incarnations. Well, the Lama didn't talk about vengeful ghosts, but I'm telling you, you know, basically, with every client, you know, we have to clear vengeful ghosts. Yeah, uh, you know, this is a bread and butter thing. Mm. Uh, many warriors used anger as a tool for strength and courage. You know, I do not think that the Knights Templar you know, for this uh, Zen-like state of equanimity. <laughs> you know, and they were monks, right? And even nowadays, many military organizations, you know, install heartless, angry subpersonalities into their elite soldiers that can be triggered when needed. You know, I don't want to get into this, you know, I mean, there's plenty of information on 
the internet about this. Uh, on the less violent side, uh, you can stew somebody with your anger, you know. Of course, uh, you will be feeling that same anger yourself too, and damage yourself as much as you damage the other p person. You know, I've heard about these Inuit people, you know, when they have like something <laughs> that needs to be uh, done, you know, uh, with violence, you know, in a way, they, they tie a, a band, you know, around each other's ears and then just pull. You know, whoever can take the more pain, you know, wins. Right. So that's about that, you know. So just by projecting love, you know, you heal the other person, you know, uh, because the love flows through you. You know, and you heal yourself, like the, the cook never really goes hungry, right? And, you know, with um, projecting anger, you know, you kind of hurt yourself, too. And, you know, in other words, you know, you have to eat the soup that you cook for others, you know, yourself, too. So, according to Chinese medicine, you know, anger makes the liver toxic, and a toxic liver makes you angry, you know, so an alcoholic that has a bad liver, you know, that generally goes with a bad temper. And so the physical effects of the astral, and the astral effects, you know, sorry, and so the physical, you know, affects the astral aspect, you know, which is the emotions, and the emotions, the astral aspects, you know, affects the physical aspect. You know, for instance, uh, let's say coffee, you know, is maybe a low-level toxin. And uh, so when you drink this, you know, you get a harsher edge to you. You know, of course, that's why we invented Irish coffee, to take that edge off. But it also, you know, makes you thirsty. And <coughs> so, you know, whatever makes you thirsty also, you know, is kind of toxic. And now here is a little bit tip here for the massage therapist and um, so the uh, gallbladder meridian um, in Chinese medicine uh, affects you in a way that uh, you have anger that is directed at you know a particular uh, PEEF project maybe a certain politician or you know immigrants or, or whatever you know you have a particular thing point that you're angry about that is uh, in the that is you know held in the gallbladder meridian now if you have a, a bad uh, liver meridian uh, or a bad liver uh, then you have you know diffuse anger you know anything can set you off you know they just grump you all around right um, and so uh, for the gallbladder meridian is basically, you know, all of the, basically the whole side of the head, that is the gallbladder meridian, and then it goes uh, here, where, you know, you under here, where you're ticklish, you know, there are many points here, and uh, then it goes <coughs> over the hip and runs the outside of the leg into the small toe. So if you go down and massage all those uh, points that are hurting, you know, and you find them, you just, you know, look where it hurts. And as a good massage therapist, you should look where it hurts. <laughs> right. And so you, uh, you know, you run love and energy into those and uh, stay in the R zone. This means, you know, not too much, not too little uh, pressure. So just right, you know, and because you don't want to burn any acupressure points out, you know, they take a long time to heal, you know, and you smile like an idiot, you know, when you massage those. And so the liver meridian, um, let's say, uh, it goes from the big toe, you know, up the inside of the leg, and then also goes up on the side, and it does, a, you know, there are a couple of spots here, you know, between the ribs, and, and that's it. And so, yeah, if you massage everything between the ribs and find the hour spots, you know, and follow those lines, you know, down the leg, you know, um, that will help a lot. And uh, for you energy healers, I suggest that you run those meridians, you know, both ways, you know, uh, till the chi, you know, um, flows freely again. 
and as I said that you know the gallbladder meridian you know runs here along the head and, and there's many many points here and this is one of the reasons why our cones like to attach there you know it's a <laughs> wonderful way to control you um, now I also um, there are other things you should know about anger you know it does not only uh, ruin your liver you know it makes your whole body toxic and also leads to arthritis and I just quote here you know this is from the secret language of your body the essential guide to health and well-being from Inna Segal and here she says uh, holding on to anger on resentment from the past so you know um, arthritis is caused by holding on to anger and resentment from the past uh, which is of course outwarded out directed anger then also she says carrying guilt remorse and shame which is inwardly directed anger and then also difficulty in forgiving self and others yes you know holding on to this emotion to this anger you know anger has to be counteracted by forgiveness and love mm -hmm. and you know of course complaining about life which is anger diffused and worrying but not wanting to make changes you know feeling stuck and limited and here we're having a you know a place where anger or this um, impulsive force you know to break out is not being used so anger might just help you to get out of the ditch you know give you this determination that doesn't mean you get out of the situation by yelling at somebody or by hitting somebody you know not all the problems can be solved by karate and kung fu uh, you know, but it gives you this en extra energy in determination, you know, this is probably the best way of using this uh, assertive energy. And uh, when we talk about arthritis, you know, um, I like to use David Eich or David Icke, you know, with his arthritic hands, you know, he serves as a great example, you know, uh, as a you know, these hands show, you know, the manifestation of his anger and resentments, you know, towards the Dracos and the Cabal. And, of course, I could quote a lot more examples, but, you know, I think everybody agrees that, and he would self agree that he is very, very angry at those people, right? Now, from an astrological perspective, in which house do you have Mars? You know, and what aspects? you know, are there towards Mars, you know, to the other planets, you know. So these are the areas where you are more assertive and manifest your anger. You know. So from a face reading perspective, <laughs> you can see the mental attitude of being annoyed by resistance that that vertical fall between the eyebrows, you know. So here when people look like that you know sometimes they look like this let's say when the sun shines into their eyes you know uh, it's annoying or what is that what did you just say you know also annoyed aggressive right and you know with some people this is a mental attitude and then you know you have a permanent anger fold here so I would be careful, and if you have one of those, I would massage that lot <laughs> and just make sure it's relaxed, <laughs> right? And um, also the uh, toxicity of the liver expresses itself in the face, you know, through deep faults, kind of over here, you know, harsh, <laughs> harsh and deep. Um, and uh, also another telltale sign of a bad liver is the yellow cast. You know, this is uh, called by the bilirubin, you know, that you can see easily in the white of the eye, you know, but then also, you know, it uh, can be seen through the skin, but that's a little more difficult to, uh, you know, to um, discriminate, you know, uh, uh, what is, you know, just normal melatonin, uh, melanin or... <laughs> or what is uh, bilirubin yeah, but in the eyes you can really see very well the toxicity level of a body right 
And in reflexology, um, and I'm just going to get into the hand, you know, it's on the right hand, it is this area here. You know, when that hurts, you know, and of course it has to be always relative to other points in the hand, you know, this kind of shows, you know, uh, your the consistency of your liver. And um, let's say uh, there are some simple uh, remedies, you know, that I use. I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, uh, but, you know, uh, so uh, one, uh, one of those things is... Um, the at the tongue at the tip of the tongue there's this little area uh, you have an area that is sensitive um, towards bitter and whenever you know you touch something like uh, to this area that is bitter like bitter lemon you know this used in Indian cooking you know or like aperitifs you know used in the west or like uh, uh, let's say uh, you know, herbalists, they use dandelion root, you know, teas, you know, and uh, uh, so, uh, you know, it sends an impulse to the liver and it activates and purges itself. Um, of course, you know, other purging, liver cleansing, you know, fasting, and, you know, you can buy liver cleansing kits. And, uh, but, you know, very easy and pleasant way is you like drinking every day a glass of fresh carrot juice. <laughs> You know, no big deal, but it just makes your life uh, brighter and happier. Right? And so historically, you know, in the Vedas, you know, there are several uh, historical accounts of where a yogi became too powerful by his austerities, uh, austerities according um, to one demigod. You know, I don't want to call any names here. Um, so this demigod, you know, would send some heavenly uh, apsaras, <laughs> you know, super hard and the seductive spirit ladies, you know, that uh, were trained in the art of dancing, etc., uh, to tempt the yogi, you know. And so some yogis, you know, went the way of the rabbit, you know, blowing their stored chi in austerities you know, in a relatively short time. And uh, some yogis became very enraged and angry, so angry that they burned them with their eyes, with their angry gaze, you know, also wasting all their good spiritual credits and chi. Now, you may say, oh, this is just hocus pocus. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I know how to project love through my eyes. You know, and where you can project love, you can also project hate. So, no, 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 this is possible. And I have had s seen people, you know, there was so much chi coming out of their eyes that, you know, it was glaring. You know, what you couldn't really look into their eyes. It's because there was so much chi coming out. And if they make that angry, oh, yeah. I mean, everybody knows about, you know, the, what's a dirty eye, you know, the evil eye, <laughs> you know. So, no, this works. So, in my personal work, you know, I had several clients that had been buried alive as an entourage, you know, for a king. So they were the wife, you know, the king died or the pharaoh died, and, you know, uh, needless, you know, so they would uh, just bury, you know, those, those poor ladies alive. You know, so they would be uh, part of the entourage, you know, the afterlife, and of course there were a whole lot of spells, binding spells, etc. put on them too. And uh, needless to say, you know, these uh, women <laughs> got very, very angry, you know, and just cursed, cursed, you know, their heartless, selfish master. You know, even if they loved him before, you know, there's a thought, you know, I mean, they were so disappointed, you know. And let's say, you know, they were, you know, very sincere and dedicated in their curses, you know. And actually one of those uh, ladies turned to the dark side, you know, due to her anger. And, you know, for many incarnations. And, and then also harassed that foolish pharaoh as a ghost, you know, in his following incarnations. And till now, you know, I mean, 
you know, and then of course we got her that ghost liberated, you know, of all the binding spells and cleared all this, you know. So <laughs> this is anger, right? So now we get into the guided meditation, right? Uh, so before we get into it, you know, I want to point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation, right? So sit in a comfortable, you know, office chair and balance your body, you know, so that everything stacks up nicely, you know, you can even rotate and, you know, you want to use as little muscles as possible, you know, to support your body. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's very difficult to enjoy bliss, you know, when your back hurts <laughs> or when you're slumping, you know. Use earbuds or headphones, you know, to cancel out uh, side distraction. You know, now it's not the same when you hear it from a squeaky iPhone speaker, right? And do not drive or operate heavy machinery, you know, I have to say that, and smile like an idiot and reside in your heart. You know, you will not have access to higher dimensions unless you vibrate at a certain love frequency. You know. Also, breathe at a pace that you can do, that you can hear, you know, the air flowing through your nostrils. You, know. you do not have to repeat my affirmations, just think or say Amen when you say Amen, but mean it, please, please mean it. And be in a childlike state of innocence during the guided meditation. Pay attention to what pops up into your mind, but do not judge or try to rationalize, you know, at the moment. You know, you can always do that, you know, at the end of the meditation. Just stay in your heart, you know. Um, you have one brain in the heart and one brain up here. You know, psychology, you know, the psych psychotherapy, you know, works with the brain here and it's not changed over here and that's why it's kind of not so effective. So you have to use both brains, you know, to change, you know, your conditioning and behavior at least, you know. Also, you know, gently uh, place your hands, you know, onto your liver, which is like under the rib cage, you know, uh, where the rib cage ends on the right side. And uh, now, Let's uh, connect to the presence of Source, Absolute Source, nobody higher, you know, and your own higher self, your inner child, you know, your spirit guides, you know, and we also like to invite some unicorns that volunteer, you know, and all incarnations that can help you and support you know, you in this ascension, you know, including your star tribes that are coming from unconditional love, you know. Higher dimensionals coming from unconditional love that's supporting human ascensions and, you know, we ask for the presence of Gaia, Milky Way galaxy and the elements. And we asked that, uh, that everything that we're doing here from and doing the Gada meditation is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes and that there will be no deception and no, yeah, that we're completely safe. Amen, 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 amen. And now, smile like an idiot and imagine that you shape shift your legs and your spine like deep tap roots into the earth and just let them flow and separate, you know, into finer and finer and finer roots. And smile like an idiot and Mother Earth, she is smart. She knows you through all your incarnation here and she loves you more than any mother has ever loved you. And you draw in her love through those roots on the inhale and on the exhale, you know, you send your love to her and just keep breathing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
So and we asked that any blocks that are there from predators like Anunnaki, Draco, Zeta, Magician, other humans, you know, please be cleared throughout our time dimensions, realities and subpersonalities now as much as possible. We are without having to look at the details. Amen, 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 amen. Mm. Keep drawing that love. And now on the exhale, push that love out the top of the head. And just imagine that, you know, where your ceiling is, that there is the Milky Way galaxy and, you know, you connect with this huge being. Mm -hmm. And just to push through, you know, any blocks, you know, resistances you have in your crown chakra, which is likely to be expected. So, strong breathing. Keep on breathing strongly, you know, once you are through, you know, once your chakras are open or the energy flows are going, you know, then you can go into the more subtleties and breathe more peacefully. But initially to punch through, you know, you need this strong breath. Uh -huh. And now allow the love of the cosmos to spill down over you and through your head, your shoulders, your heart, through your arms and hands, through your legs, into your feet, into the earth, and also right through the spine, all the way, right through the spine, cleansing out the spine, illuminating your spine. And oh, it feels so good. And we asked all our spirit guides, also the unicorns and angels, to cleanse your subtle bodies with these waves of love and chi flowing through you and over you. Let's call those the waters of life. Mm -hmm. And we asked source an absolute source, an Archangel Michael, or anybody else who is qualified, like Lord Shiva, for those of the Hindu tradition, or Lord Ganesh, you know, to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey Magician, or other predatory cords and devices, and any other technology from every level of our being, any incarnation, any time or dimensions or subpersonality now for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes and also clear all those bogus contracts that came with us you know if necessary take them to the highest court of spiritual justice yes please amen 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 and just smile like an eagle and observe that shift of energy and keep running you know this heavenly love uh -huh. And now you just draw that love into your heart and expand your heart just like you expand, like a rosebud expands, you know, when it's in the sun in a favorable condition it blooms out. Just your heart, you know, has many more petals and those petals don't have to find edges. They're kind of fluffy, airy fairy and uh, they also move a little bit. Right, uh, they are kind of a little vortex. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd make this bigger and sweeter and puffier, you know. And don't forget to smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now, on top of this, you also connect with the Milky Way galaxy and Mother Earth, you know, with kind of like a big uh, laser-like light column. You know, that's about as big as your head, you know, in diameter, you know. Just visualize it and you probably will notice how you get quite a buzz. Mm -hmm. And now we ask for the healing love to come into you like liquid light. 
and to dissolve any blobs and clouds of darkness now. Amen, 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 amen. And allow that liquid loving light into your heart to dissolve any pain or darkness or tightness that you can detect. And again, just smile like an enoch. You know, that's your dial for being receptive to love. And now we keep this flow patterns from the heavens, you know, going. But we let that love flow from your heart through those arms into your liver. You know, and again, you know, and smile like an idiot, you know, and just, you know, smile into that liver and, you know, just talk to it like <laughs> you would talk to a sick child that you love so much. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And now, while you're doing this, we ask for the presence of expert ascension teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes to please arrange for the highest selves of any lost soul aspect to ascend these ghosts as they're being invoked and bring them home to rejoin their souls. Amen. And we just want you to nod your head in agreement without interrupting your awareness of love. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, in the future when we say to clear anger, you know, we ask, you know, for the presence of expert healing teams, you know, to please transmute all this anger that is being cleared and send it to where it is needed, you know, for a positive transformation, you know, of the self, you know to bust up, you know, the darkness and the negative implants and devices and, you know, from all, you know, the incarnations, you know, sub-personalities, you know, throughout all time, dimensions and localities, you know, and bring in the light of the soul and upgrade us to our highest divine blueprints that is possible for us right now, you know, that is good for us, of course, too, you know. And say again, please do so for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. All right. So, and now, we ask, you know, for our high self, you know, that is kind of like a communicator personality of our own soul between, you know, us here in the incarnated human separated consciousness and our soul. So we asked this part of us to be in front of us now, amen. And some of you might just see light, some of you may see like a humanoid form in a different style, and some of you might just feel a presence. So it doesn't matter what it is, it's, and it doesn't have to be completely crisp and clear either. And just on the inhale, just draw your high self's love into your heart. And on the exhale, you know, send your love, you know, to your high self. And just, you know, move that love with your breath back and forth. I call this running love. Mm -hmm. And again, smile like an idiot. You don't want to scare your high self with your frown. Mm -hmm. Just smile and run love with your high self. And, you know, stay always in your heart while we ask the question. And the first question is, you know, how much of your total chi that you have, you know, do you waste? with your anger. You know, you might have gotten something like 10, 20, 50, 60, 80 percent, right? Okay. Thanks so much. And now ask, 
how does uh, the anger affect your body? And you probably, you know, will have certain memories of some owies or, <laughs> you know, some chronic conditions. Um, so let's see. Amen. And now ask, how does your anger affect your karma? You know, what kind of karma, you know, are you getting into, you know, with your anger? You know, just ask now, Amen. And now ask, where is the anger energy stuck in your body? You know, it's not just stuck in your liver. I mean, that's probably the main part, but where else is it in your body? And now ask, how will your life change? If you somehow release, you know, these anger blocks and, you know, forgive, right? How will your life change? Ask now. And now ask, is most of your anger directed outward or directed inward at the self? And now ask, is most of your anger a direct anger, you know, at your pet peeves, you know, or is it diffused anger, you know, just bad liver anger? Mm -hmm. And now ask, you know, what is the effect of your anger that you project on other people, you know, from a higher point of view. Right? I mean, from a, of course, we're angry, you know, it's our subjective point of view, you know, but from a higher, more neutral point of view, you know, how does it affect other people? How do they think about you, right? And now ask, what is the effect on you you know, from projecting anger, you know, from a higher point of view, you know, what, <laughs> how does it affect you now? Mm -hmm. Now you should also understand that anger is a food for certain entities, you know, which instigate and flare up your anger through telepathic suggestions. So, but you're still responsible for your actions. How much of your anger is uh, instigated, you know, by other entity? How many percent of your anger that you express? Okay. And make sure you still stay in your heart, no, not in your head, don't judge, smile like an idiot. And who instigates the majority of your anger? And this is probably mostly from past lifetimes, you know, some from this lifetime, but in my experience, mostly from past lifetimes. So is it humans, magicians, archons, Zeta Reticula, Dracos, Anunnaki, or maybe some other race. And now we take their interference to the highest spiritual courts of justice and arbitration now and ask for a clearing of all their manipulations throughout all time, incarnations, subpersonalities, dimensions, and localities. Amen, 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 amen. And smile like an idiot and just breathe and relax 
you probably feel a lot of clearing now. And now ask how much anger comes from past life incarnations where we got betrayed, wronged, or for some other reasons. And now we ask, are there ghosts still following us from those incarnations, yes or no? And now ask, how do they influence your life? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we forgive them. And it does not mean that they do not have to face their karma. You know, it just means that you give up personal revenge and let the highest, you know, deal with the karma. Let God deal with it. Amen, 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 amen. To just forgive them. Mm -hmm. And now ask how much anger comes from past life incarnations where we betrayed, wronged, or for some other reason offended others. And now we ask are there ghosts from these incarnations still sabotaging your light? or sabotaging others to get back at you, yes or no. And now ask, how do they influence your life? And that should be quite eye-opening for you. Also ask how they affect your relationships and your prosperity and your health mm -hmm. and probably everything all the suffering that you experienced <laughs> you know you did to others too you know so you're just getting back what you dished out so just ask them for forgiveness now you know for whatever you did to them Mm -hmm. Amen. And now we asked our Ascension teams <coughs> to um, help these soul fragments and ghosts, you know, to come into, to go into the heaven and to meet their high selves and their loved ones that have already gone before them. Now, Amen, 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 Amen. And um, run, Mother Earth love, you know, out the top of your head with your breath that will create a gateway to the heavens or portal through which they can go into the heavens. Do so now. And you probably will feel, you know, the energy flowing up. Mm -hmm. Some of them, some of you will see those entities, you know, going into the light. Mm -hmm. And once they make it through, uh, you might feel like a shower of love or light coming down on you too. Uh -huh. And this can go on for quite a while. So while this is going on, ask, do you still carry anger that you absorb from other people, you know, to help them, let's say, lighten their load? You know, like people, being upset, you know, yelling at you about politics, you know, and shaking the finger at you, you know. So how much, you know, anger do you carry, you know, from other people? And of course we ask that this please be released now, amen. And while that is going on, ask, 
if you carry any anger that is being dumped into you, you know, through courts, you know, or other types of magic, you know, from past lifetimes or from this lifetime, you know, and also ask, you know, whether it's significant or piddly. Mm -hmm. And of course we ask that to be clear too. And while that is going on, you know, ask, uh, you know, how much of your anger comes actually from frustrating situations, right? And ask that you be shown those situations, you know, that you're stuck in. And ask what is the lesson there? What do you have to learn there? You know, so do you make it over the hump. And now again we asked for clearing and transmutation of all this anger. And even anger that we haven't pointed out yet. You know, maybe we don't have an idea or concept about this, you know. Of all the anger that we have received and of all the anger that we have sent. And please, you know, send these transmuted energies to where it is needed, you know, for positive transformation of the self, you know, to bust up the darkness, you know, the negative implants the controlling devices, you know, from all incarnations, all subpersonalities, all time, all dimensions and localities, and the us, you know, with our soul, bring in the light of the soul, you know, and do so all for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And while that is going on, you know, install new behaviors in us that are more representative of our higher consciousness, our divine blueprint, so to say. And there should be quite an upflow of energy out of you. And we asked for some heavenly vacuum cleaner angels to help you, you know, to suck this energy out of you and transmute it so that none of that dark chi, you know, stays in your room where you are and attaches to others. Amen, 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 amen. And while this is going on, <laughs> uh, make sure that uh, you connect, you know, to heaven and earth now and draw their love, you know, simultaneously with your inhale into your heart. And just pump your heart chakra, you know, become heart chakra centered. Mm -hmm. Really blow up your heart chakra. And now, we invite a subpersonality to be in front of you, and it is the subpersonality that is the angry you. Like you have a subpersonality of you know child, you know, or or male and female high selves. You know, there is also a subpersonality that is the angry you, right? So we ask you know for that personality to be in front of us now. Amen. And hoo yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing my own one here. So, mm -hmm. and now uh, you just take the love from heaven and earth on the inhale, on the exhale, you know, send it to this angry self of yours. Mm -hmm. This is, and if it doesn't have a heart chakra anymore, that is possible. That has been done, you know, in past times, you know, through high na black magic. You know, we ask uh, the cosmic Christ or Creator, you know, to give us the heart chakra and we just implant it back into the heart of the angry self. Just visualize it, giving it a nice heart. You know, there are no hard and fast rules, and it's the intent that counts. And we ask all your spirit guides to assist with this. Amen, 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 amen. 
Yeah. And now you just project love onto this angry part of you and you say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive the others. I'm so sorry. You know, just let go of your anger. And, you know, and we ask all the spirit guides to help us you know, clear this part of us, you know, Lord Ganesh, the unicorns, the cosmic Christ, all the heavy hitters. <laughs> yeah. And, yes. And now we just breathe that love from heaven and earth into the pain body's legs and just ground the pain body to Mother Earth. Very gently loving, deep breathing, deep breathing, smiling like an idiot. Uh -huh, that's how you get that loving potency. Mm -hmm. Just ground it, ground it, ground it. Mm -hmm. That will make it much easier for this being. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and you will feel a big relief once this angry part of you is grounded and now just you know project that love from heaven and earth into the crown chakra you know of your angry subpersonalities to on the exhale just imagine you breathing into the heart just like through a stovepipe and then up into the crown chakra you know all the way up into the Milky Way galaxy and make that super sweet, super sweet. Mm -hmm. Just smile like an eater and just pump into that heart chakra. Yeah, chill out that angry part of you. Mm -hmm. You know, be compassionate, be compassionate. Just chill it out, calm it out. Again, you know, I'm so sorry. I forgive you, forgive me, I'm so sorry that this happened. I love you, I love you, I love you. And of course, you know, you can use your own words, you can use your own ideas. You're not, you're not, you're not limited to my script here, okay? Mm -hmm. And just watch how this angry part of you transmutes. And it might just lose its color. It might just lose its shape and dimensionality and just dissolve. Or it just becomes like a normal part of you and then you ask it to join you again and invite it back into your heart. Amen, 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 amen. And now we thank all those beings, you know, that helped. You know, there were so many beings that helped. And they were very merciful with you, you know, helping you <coughs> way beyond, you know, the let's say, tooth for tooth, eye for an eye, you know, 50-50 concept, you know. So just really, really thank them, you know, for saving you so much trouble and clearing you. And of course, with your gratefulness, you know, you will attract further help. Of course, you know that already. And I will count to three, and then you will be back in waking day consciousness all subtle bodies completely aligned and harmonized, full of energy, remembering everything that happened, that you experienced, and, well, you know, easy to integrate. Amen, 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 amen. One, you become aware of your room again, and two, you go back into your physical body, into the toes and heels, into your fingers, and three, you open your eyes and you're back in waking day consciousness. Hey, back again. <laughs> so, you know, this is a shotgun meditation. 
and you will probably not ascend all your stuck soul fragments, you know, ghosts and traumas, you know. Much of the time you will have to do this guided meditations, you know. Again, you know, just like, you know, you regularly take pills, you know, or teas or other remedies. And um, so these cleansings, they take time, you know. Uh, for some of you, you know, this may happen at a breakneck speed and enjoy the ride. Yeah, like you would enjoy a roller coaster, you know. Don't get like, ooh, you know, go wee, you know, it's exciting and, you know, fast and, and um, yes. So it's the same ride, it's the same price, it's very different memories, you know. An instant clearing probably of all the anger, you know, would be an overload and most likely traumatic, you know. You might just be laying on the ground like a blob of bibbering jello sucking on your thumb. You know. So uh, also if your spiritual support team, you know, behind the curtain, you know, uh, would just pull the whole curtain away, it just may be a little much for you. And uh, many of the things, you know, um, you have to look at in detail before they can be released because there's a lesson behind this, you know. So either, you know, you find those and do special meditations on those, you know, or many times, you know, you need a private session, you know. You just don't have the experience, you know, to do those things, especially when you do it, for, you know, the first time by yourself. You know, also, the information density of this guided meditation is uh, super high, you know. There are so many ideas and layers packed into this, you know. So listen to the meditations, you know, several times, you know, till you get no more strong reactions or, you know, <laughs> till you're not angry anymore. So every time, you know, you blow up, you know, that's a good time to do that meditation. Thing, you know. And so, uh, also, you know, yeah, this is about insight many times, you know, good parents, you know, help with your homework, but do not make it all, you know. So, we just ask now, you know, for the highest and most accessible guidance, you know, to come to you, maybe through books, YouTube info, websites, people, nature, dreams, and so much more, you know, who wants to limit spirit. So, please, you know, guide us, amen. And of course, you may also treat yourself for a private Skype session, you know, and cut right, you know, to the chase. My prices are very, very reasonable. You know, just send me an email and, you know, I will, you know, uh, guide you further. Okay. So, uh, also, you know, do the cyber stuff, you know, help me with my ratings. So, you know, thumbs up, uh, bell, subscribe make comments, you know, share with your community what you're experiencing, you know, this is a communal thing, you know, so the more we communicate and express ourselves, you know, uh, the more we can become a light tribe. And don't forget, I love you. Namaste.